Welcome back, Arx Pokemon Draft League. I'm Quincy Stotts, the uh, coach of the Galavanting Glades this season, and we are finally back with uh, a game after like four or five weeks almost. Uh, the league's been kind of slow with uh, people being busy for the summer. So uh, if you're keeping up with it, obviously we just moved to the playoffs. Uh, everyone got seated, bracketed, whatever. And our first game is against the Tyranitar Terrors. So... I'm going to try to run through this video a little quicker than normal. Uh, I got my team on screen. Only thing of note, we dropped Cradilly for Drapion and we're testing him out. Uh, I'm pretty confident that he can be a, a good uh, Pokemon this match. Uh, he's got some good moves and uh, Poison and Ice are particularly good against the T-Tars the team. So that's that. Uh, everything else is pretty standard to what we've brought before. Um, so... If you want to look at it more, you can just pause the video, but uh, I'm just going to hop right into the games because we got some good ones. Um, first game, looking at his team, uh, I was not super happy to see Lorantis. I brought like Icy Wind on three Mons, which is kind of a uh, an oversight uh, with a co uh, Lorantis having Contrary. means he can get a speed boost instead of a speed drop, which is not what I want. So... If I would have prepped one thing differently, that would have been that. But uh, either way, I decided to lead Tapu and Driftblim here, and he leads Lorantis and Reggie. Um, I'm going to let this first turn play out, because it's pretty interesting. He decides to Worry Seed his Reggie to get rid of the ability, which is pretty cool, and I just start setting up. Uh, I get a Tailwind and Calm Mind up with Tapu, and then you can see he Worry Seeds his uh, Slow Start away on the Reggie, so that's pretty cool. He also did try to toxic my Tapu there, but with Misty Terrain, uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna happen. So slight oversight on his part, but uh, you know we'll take we'll take the not being poisoned. Uh, next turn, I throw up a Protect on Driftblim, and I just start firing some damage off. But he wide guards, so it's a good call on his part. He knows I like to bring the uh, the double hitting moves, uh, and then he's almost gonna one hit Tapu with a uh, crit, but it stays up. I decided, since Driftblim can't do a whole lot, and with Icy Wind being on it, I don't want to give Lorantis a speed boost, so I decided to just Memento into the Reggie to kind of get rid of a, a pretty big threat on the field, and then maybe we can get in one of our sweepers and start doing some work. And I believe I bring out Gallade here. Tapu protects, and yep, I bring up Gallade at the end of the turn. So next turn, uh, Lorantis is actually pretty bulky, but I think I decided to just Ice Punch it. And he goes for another wide guard. But I, I read that and decide I just, you know, if he's going to wide guard, I should probably just Calm Mind. Uh, try to get a, another little stat boost. Uh, and that's what we do. Uh, he superpowers Gallade. Luckily we resist. Don't take a ton of damage, but he is boosting his attack stats now. Um, but luckily another Ice Punch is gonna just going to take care of him. He's going to Heavy Slam the Tapu, and we're going to tank that. And uh, I think this was the turn that... Uh, 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 tailwind went away. Uh, luckily, Gallade was faster than uh, Laurentis anyway, but now we have a, uh, a fast little Salamence to deal with, and that's pretty annoying. He's going to Intimidate, so I'm going to switch to Metagross, my other Sweeper, and we're going to just hit Protect again on Tapu. Luckily, we suck up a hit, and he Thunder Waves our Metagross, which isn't the best, but here's what I'm excited about. Uh, the Flamethrower does... 50% damage to Metagross, so that Assault Vest is coming in clutch. I'm not completely sure what the damage roll would be normally. I think it's probably somewhere closer to 60 or 70%, but uh, happy I brought that item this week. Next, he's going to poison our Tapu, and we're just going to wipe the field up with a Dazzling Gleam and a Meteor Mesh, I think. So he's got one mon left, and we have three. So this game's pretty much in the bag, and we're just going to chip away at this guy for a couple turns. Flamethrower isn't doing a whole lot to Tita, uh, Metagross. And I think he protects this next turn, but we, we do eventually chip him down. Spoiler alert. Uh, and take the first game 2-0, I think. Tapu dies this next turn. Yeah. Drain Punch. Boom. Titar is gone. So that was the first game. Uh, 
dealing with that uh, contrary was kind of annoying. I couldn't really get off any icy winds, and then he had a wide guard in Reggie too, which is really smart. So that was a uh, a dangerous game to navigate, but nonetheless, we won, and we go into the second game here. Uh, I decided I want to try Drapion out, <clears throat> and I had a plan in uh, kind of team building where I wanted to mat block and get Swords Dance up with Drapion right away. Uh, and so that's the strat I decide to go with for this game. Um, unfortunately, Excadrill is stupid fast, um, which doesn't matter this turn because he he also Swords Danced, but it will matter next turn. Um, so yeah, we get our Swords Dance up. His T Tar protects turn two, and then his Iron Head just bonks Greninja. Uh, one hit KO. I'm not sure if he had a KO move for Drapion, but I'm glad he didn't. Uh, fire into him because Drapion is going to start popping off here he's going to one hit kill the Excadrill with a knockoff and then we're going to bring in Drifblim I thought I didn't bring Tapu so in the back there's also a Metagross on this team and while normally Drifblim I would run with Tapu I think it's bulky enough that it's pretty safe to get off like something like Tailwind without uh, the unburdened proccing plus it has so much good utility that I think it's just a good mod to bring even without Tapu so I throw him in there, and we one-hit KO the Laurentis, which is really nice. Drapion's got some decent speed, so... And then we're going to Tailwind just to kind of cement that speed uh, dominance in the game. And he's going to come out with Hydreigon. Now normally I think Hydreigon would have been faster, but we Tailwinded last turn with Driftblim. So we're going to just bonk him out of the way. Uh, Drapion's chilling, and I think Drapion goes down this turn. Yeah, he takes an Earth Power, which he survives... And then he goes down to Sandstorm. I think I built him kind of with a little bit of defense points this week, so. Definitely came in a little bit clutch. Not really, because he died to Sandstorm anyway, but. Next turn, we just memento the Titar, because he's not going to be able to do a ton against a Metagross at half attack. Uh, and then we just hammer arm into him. And we take that game 1 0. Which we kind of could have taken 2 0 if we didn't memento the Drifflin, but uh, I wanted to be safe, because. Driftblim didn't have a ton of ways to kill Titar if Metagross went down, so I just wanted to play that one safe. But yeah, that was the game this week, guys. Uh, GG's to the Tyranitar Terrors. Um, to everyone else playing games uh, in this uh, playoff bracket, I wish you good luck, and uh, I'll see you next week, or whenever I play the next game. So yeah, see ya.